Hey all, uh, this is Michael here. So what this video is going to show you today is um, how do we do a WebOS Doctor for WebOS device, WebOS 2 devices as well as um, how do you bypass activation for these devices itself. Okay, um, for this phone, um, we w this one has the latest version of 2.1 for WebOS and currently this phone runs, at, this Palm Pre Plus, it actually runs at uh, version 1.4. So I'm going to do a WebOS doctor to update this to version 2.1 and we will move on to all the methods and things I need to use to bypass activation for all the WebOS 2 devices. So for this one, it's, uh, the way for you to go into recovery is similar to, uh, similar to what the uh, Palm Pre has. So what you need to do is basically to take out the back cover. So we just slide it aside. Once the back cover is taken out, you need to take out the battery. So what you need to do is to slot out and take out the uh, sim, uh, the charger port. Close it back in. So as you see, this is the charger port. So what you need to do now is to plug in the cable that is attached to your PC. So just plug it in. And if you can see, there will be a battery logo appearing after this. So what you need to do from here onwards is to press on the volume up button and reinsert back the battery. So you press on the volume up button and you reinsert back the battery at the end. Then you should go into recovery mode. So this is in recovery mode now. So we will move on to the PC side to do the WebOS Doctor. Okay, what, what we are going to do now is actually to WebOS doctor the Palm Pre Plus up back, uh, I mean like up to or upgrade it up to 2 point, version 2.1 because currently the phone itself is on version 1.4. So once we upgrade that, then there will be version 2.1 which is the same uh, same version as all the other WebOS 2.x devices. Then we will proceed in to bypass activation process. So let's start it. You'll need to actually run the latest um, updates jar i'll leave a link down below where you can download this so what you need to do now is just to double click but before you do that make sure you have java installed if not then you can't actually execute this jar file so once you have that installed you just need to double click on this jar file and enable launch and you can just click next on all this stuff and just accept it and next it will detect And you can actually bypass this because I already have Nubacom installed. So, yeah, and then they will start the flashing process to upgrade your phone. Okay, so if you have an issue like mine in terms of uh, having having WebOS Doctor actually stops with error at 64%, so most probably you have a corrupted modem on your phone. So I what I what I do is actually I flash and updated the modem again to the correct version and the WebOS Doctor just successfully finished after that. So if you do have issues with um with that, then you can let me know. If you want a video, I can actually make a video to show you guys how to be uh, to flash the modem. Okay, for WebOS 2.x, the bypass activation process is pretty simple. So um, there is a, actually a code for you to actually key in the uh, to the keypad itself, and you will basically be able to actually bypass the, the activation screen. And that's all done. Last time, when <clears throat> when the palm profile is still active and stuff, you will basically need to actually um, put in imposter to actually put in like uh, override device profile and stuff like that. But since now these profiles are not used anymore, so you don't need to do that. So what you need to do is just to key in the code. And uh, bypass the activation screen and you can just put in a sim card and you should be able to use your phone so as you can see all the phone currently in, in check sim SOS meaning there's no sim card that is actually in the, in the phone itself the only problem that for the other two is that they actually have an activation screen that you need to bypass in order for you to actually go into the phone itself if not then you will be stuck in that screen and you can't access anything on the phone you do for this one will be uh, entering the code itself so you just type on the keyboard it will go into the code later on so what you need to do now is to do a, um, a uh, hash asterisk three three okay three three eight 
six, six, three, three, and it close off with a hash. You just call. So when you do this, as you can see, they will basically let you turn on developer mode, and you restart the device. And this one you can leave it empty. Just submit it. Leave it empty. Submit, and they will get the device will get rebooted. So when the device get rebooted, you will go to. I mean the screen like. See the screen like this, right? As you can see, the screen like this. So, you can do the same thing for the VR as well if you want to. So as for the VR, so what you normally you do is still the same thing. Let's trace. Then you get three, three, eight, six, six, three, three. Shift and turn. And just do a call. Developer mode. Restart the device. So once you enter the bypass code, you'll be in the you'll be already in the main screen where you can access all the manuals and stuff. And for this stage itself, I mean for now itself, the the it's already actually actually bypass. It's that simple actually. You have already completed the bypass process without the computer. You just need a keypad and just key in the stuff and you're already bypassed. We don't need the pump profiles now, so so you are done for the bypass process. Okay, so now let us move to the process of installing preware to the phone. Now you will need to actually plug in the USB cable to your PC. So one that is in. So um, you are not doing anything here, so you'll just leave it as it is. Then we'll move on to the PC for the process. Okay, once we have the phone connected to the computer, so what we can do now is to Double click on that voice quick install and let it load. And we should have the pre tree connected as shown as the uh, web voice quick install. The device connected is pre tree. So you just click on the globe icon and let the feed get updated. And what we need to do is to install preware into the phone now. Once you have that, you can actually look for preware. Then you can just install preware. Right, so just install Preware into. They will basically download the app itself and install it into your phone. Okay, I think that's all for today. Um, the phone is ready, so now it's just going on check SIM SOS only. So what you need to do is just put in the SIM card, and in this twenty seventeen time, there's no way you can actually install back any palm profiles that you have and stuff so what you need to do once you have preware installed you just need to yeah install the patches as well as the kernels and stuff to make this works better and that's all you have i mean like we don't have palm profiles anymore so there's nothing much you can do so um that's all for today so if you guys have any questions regarding this do let me know if I can help, I'll try to help for the bypass itself. If there's nothing much, so um, that's all for today. Do post any questions in the comment down below if you have any. And I'm si signing up for now. And thanks for watching. Bye.